Teachers, your summer break is coming to an end and it's time to start thinking about work. One of the things you have to start thinking about is gathering parent contact information for your incoming students. Chances are your district's student information system has all this information for you, but it's not organized in the best way. By the end of this video, you will have a Google form ready to send to the parents of your incoming students in an organized Google Sheet to help you get to know your students better. And I've got a template for you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Gabriel Carrillo. If you'd like to learn more ed tech tips and food recipes, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Let's start creating. If you go to the video description, you'll find the link for the template. You can also go to the full blog post. That's also going to be in there and go ahead and click on that link. And the first thing we're going to do, you're going to be prompted to make a copy of the template. Let's go ahead and make a copy. And this is the template. First things first, let's go ahead and rename this. So I've renamed it. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we want the name of the form in our Google drive to be the exact same. So now that we have that, we can get rid of this. You can go ahead and delete that and put anything you'd like here with specific instructions. So I've got my instructions here for my parents and you'll notice that this is the first thing they'll see. Once they see that they'll continue on to the next step, which is filling out the student information. It's very important that you have a section for first name and last name. If you want to try to gather date of birth, that's perfectly fine. If you want to leave out that information, you can go ahead and do so. Anytime you see a red asterisk, that means that that question is actually required. If you click on any one of these questions and you don't want, let's say you don't want the student date of birth, you can always just uncheck it and make it optional. And then here's a section for parent slash guardian information. We want their first names. We want phone number of the one parent or guardian. If there's more than one parent or guardian in the household, there's a question here for each one of those. And you'll notice that parent guardian one phone number two. So if they got a work office phone or what have you, these are not required. There's also a section for an email address. And if there's another parent, there's parent guardian two, and the exact same questions. Once they see that, they'll go ahead and continue to the next section. And here is the logistics and additional information to get to know their students a little bit better. When is the best time to contact you? And you can go ahead and click on here and modify any one of these if you'd like to. This is essentially your new template. What is the best way to contact you? And I also put another box that way they could type in any other information there. And what should I know about your child in order to ensure success in the classroom? So this is one of those questions where you, as a parent, it lets me know that the teacher is really interested in making sure that they meet my child's needs. Seeing that as a parent kind of gives me the warm and fuzzies. So I'm probably more apt to fill that out because I now know that the teacher is interested in teaching my child. And are there any, is there anything else I should know about your child? And that one is not required. Okay, so this is the view as a editor. If we go to this preview here, this is what the parent will see, the guardian. They click next, they fill out the information. This actually won't let me go next because these are required. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out January 6, 2013. And we do not have a second phone number, but we do have a guardian email. So, so there's our required email address and there is no second parent here. So let's go ahead and click next evening and phone would probably be the best one. And let's go ahead and fill out some information on Homer Simpson. And there's some information on Homer Simpson. Is there anything else that I should know about your child? Oh, there's some more information about Homer that our teacher should know about. Let's go ahead and submit that. And when we go back to our form, we're going to see a couple different things here. If we go to the responses tab, we will now see that we do have one response. We could see in a summary view what that looks like, but it's not necessarily the best view as a teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click link to sheets. And this is something that you're going to want to do as well. And let's go ahead and leave the title as is. It'll create a brand new spreadsheet that's named the exact title as the actual form. And here's what it looks like for us. We have the timestamp of when this was filled out. We have the student information, the date of birth, and the pertinent information that the parent filled out. 
And as you get more responses, obviously this is going to get longer, but the beauty of it is now you have these responses in a spreadsheet. As long as you have an internet enabled device, whether that be a phone, whether you have a tablet or a work computer at home or any sort of internet connected device, you can now access this from anywhere. It's a lot better than trying to gather everything and put it into that big old filing cabinet that you probably have behind your desk. So this is an accessible sheet that you can literally access from anywhere in the world with internet. And that's the beauty of creating this and sending it out to your parents. So now the next step is let's go ahead and send this out to the parents. If we click send, there's a couple different options here. We are going to choose the link and we can go ahead and copy that link and then we can type up an email and put that in the hyperlink click here to fill out the form or what have you and now your parents have that information that they could fill out so that you can get to know your students a little bit better and now you have all their contact information in a nice organized spreadsheet that you can access from anywhere so there it is ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe share it with the teacher across the hall or anyone else on your social media networks have a great school year and buen provecho